All right, guys, here she is making her grand entrance. Isn't she absolutely stunning and absolutely beautiful? Uh, it's just an amazing car. Uh, you know, it, in motion, it looks so much better, and I'm just in love. Hello, everyone. It's Lambo77 here. Uh, today, I'm filling in for DFW's cars. He's uh, unavailable. So, uh, we're talking about the T stuff. So, I'm going to take you around and uh, show you some specs and some interesting things about it. Guys, we are here with this beauty. Let me just kind of walk you around and tell you a little bit more about it. I actually really like this spec matte paint with the blue accents picking it up. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, of course, they design beautiful cars. They've been doing it for Ferrari for years. And, and this is one where they kind of went off on their own. There's been some McLaren speed tone. There are a lot of arrows we'll talk about later on. Um, minivan does not come with the car, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, this back, though, it's just... Um, all about aero really it's probably um very mclaren-esque in that sense in that this car is beautiful i'd love to see it in a bright color or a very very dark color let me know in the comments what you guys think about it but what a magnificent you know car it just looks ready to attack checking out this interior um i mean it's an italian car so of course it's gonna have a pretty nice interior very futuristic but then you also see the high quality leather you see all the carbon fiber um, you know, it just, it just, uh, is very nice. I'm um, coming around to the back here. A little bit more about that. Let's see if we can sneak in here around this man. Uh, that box is obviously not going to be in the production model. This is a very pre-pre-production model. Um, this is one of the, you know, it's just came to North America pretty recently. It's making its tour, uh, now. Look at that door. That door is just like a modern work. Here it is with the doors up, so you can see it in like full attack mode. Man, I love those doors. Um, even the lights on it are very aggressive. And again, it's built all for style. Let's check out this interior a little bit more. I mean, just look at that. It's it's so beautifully done. Um, I think this car is going to, uh, if it weren't electric, it would probably give uh, Kona's Egg and maybe Pagani a lot of uh, competition there. And maybe Ferrari too. Uh, this feels a little bit different. Uh, I love the font they use there. Love the steering wheel. Uh, love the mini screens, as we'll talk about a little bit later. Drive select mode. All right, and so how does the door go up? That's a really good question. Let's figure that out together, shall we? Um, so it's like a little handle back in there. It's hidden for arrow. Works really well. There's a nice overview of that interior. Gosh, I'm just falling in love with that interior. Give you exhaust noise right about now, but it's an electric car. There is no exhaust, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I love it with the wing up. It just, you know, all the active air on this car is simply awesome. Um, I also love all the blue accents, and of course you can customize that should you be in the market for one, however you like, um, which is pretty neat. Getting in detail on the headlight there, look at that, it's just, just I mean everything is functional and ha uh, follows a nice form, but it's also beautiful, uh, unlike, you know, that's what the critique of McLaren a little bit is, uh, some of their more aggressive cars uh, are too aero and too sharp. Man to wipe it down is not included. Beautiful front end design with your daytime running lights and carbon fiber detailing around the headlights and around the, the front hood. While we are waiting, we can just like follow the airflow around the car. So obviously it goes up here, kind of over the back there. And also another neat thing about this is in the cargo area back there, it comes with uh, custom luggage. It's, uh, it's got about a 300 mile range could you do that one more time, please? All right, so this does have a cargo area here, so you are going to have a bespoke luggage bag here. So you can do a nice overnight trunk gap, if you will, and you do have luggage that is designed specifically to fit inside of the Batista. We have a little duffel bag. Oh, does it really? Okay. Do you want me to close that down and then do the e-port? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. How are you doing today? You're doing well, how are you? Good. Welcome Good back. Again. Thank you. You ready? Yes. Oh, 
that is way too cool. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Man. <laughs> You've got uh, carbon fiber accents all over the car, around the headlights. You've got your daytime running lights. Um, got center lock wheels. Carbon fiber. What's really bold about this is that two so much. colors so on the seats, two different colors. You've got uh, three displays, one for uh, speed, navigation, and entertainment. You've got active aerodynamics. So the spoiler comes up in three dynamic modes. Your side view mirrors are designed to specifically allow airflow into the vents. The interior is quite so So this is the first Italian luxury electric hypercar. Zero emissions, thousand 900 horsepower, I believe, about 16 or 1700 feet pound of torque. Beautiful aerodynamics, no exhaust. You have four motors. And when you're ready, Nathan. Until next time, my speedy racers, drive on.